And remember when you said to the angels, prostrate yourselves before Adam. And they prostrated except Iblis, which is Satan. He refused and was proud as one of the disbelievers. And we said, we being God, O oh Adam, dwell you and your wife in paradise and eat both of you freely with pleasure and delight. Um, it, it, which sorry, I'm just reading. Is this what passage you meant? No, no, I think she meant earlier. No, 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 that's a different question, but it said... Oh, here it is. Verse 30. Right, got it. My apologies. Okay. And remember when the Lord said to the angels, Verily, I'm going to place uh, mankind generation after generation on earth. They said, Will you place therein those who will make mischief and therein and shed blood, uh, while we glorify you with praises and thanks and sanctify you? He, Allah, said, I know that which you do not know. And he, and he taught Allah all the names of everything. And then he showed them to the angels and said, Tell me, that's God, the names of those who, if you are truthful, they, the angels, said, glorify to you, we have no knowledge except what you have taught. Except what was the How's that Sorry, go on. I'm not aware that can be contradictory of anything. No, no, I think you might have misread it all. I love it so much when they pray. Pray with me. Yeah? Yeah, because I love it. I thought it was great. Anyway, the, the point is that in the Quran also Jesus affirms that he is not God uh, and that he, he, he himself prays to God. Uh, I will get the reference if you wish, it's, it's well known. Yes, he is recording. Um, and, and this uh, uh, echoes the historical Jesus, what Jesus himself said. He denied that he was God in Mark chapter 10, verse 17. He pointed, he prayed to God all over the place in the Gospels. On the cross, as is portrayed in the Bible, he, he says in Mark, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? He doesn't even know why he's been crucified. And he's been abandoned by God in Mark. I'm not saying this is how it really happened. That's what Mark says. So he's clearly not a divine, he's not Yahweh. He's not the God of the universe. Because God doesn't die. And it says in, in 1 Timothy, it says in 1 Timothy that God doesn't die. So, um, I think we've gone all, all over the place. Yeah, we've gone all over the place. You know when you said we Muslim how you have a forgiveness. You know. Well, yeah, I think, I think that's good. But when did Jesus say forgiveness can simply be obtained by praying directly to God uh, with the one caveat yeah. was that uh, he mentioned in, in the Sermon on the Mount? So, did you say that you believe that only through Jesus' death on the cross can sins be forgiven? It seems that the teaching of Jesus and the teaching about Jesus are two different things. I was wondering if you'd like to explore that idea. I know, I know. Well, we're not accusing you of, of, of no, anything no, in the Bible. No, just saying. Personally, I recommend Jesus. Te personally, I recommend te Jesus teaching to you in terms of forgiveness of sins, because exactly what Muslims believe. We don't believe there has to be a human sacrifice before God can be directly approached. We can simply pray directly to God. We don't believe you don't need an intermediary or a priest or a mother, the Mary, the mother of God, or Jesus or anything like that. We can pray directly to God. But that's exactly what Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount as well. So Jesus is much closer to Islam than he is to the Christian faith as you believe it back to today. Nothing like with Christianity. Look, I'm, I'm sure as a young lady, if someone is accused falsely, is going to be killed. What do you think is is the right thing to do? With it? Is innocent. Sorry, what? If someone is innocent uh -huh. and he's going to be killed, do you think it's the right thing to do? What's that got to do with what you spoke about? No, 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 no. Which is about the forgiveness? No. He's Jesus. He done nothing wrong, and he's going to be killed. What do you think? So, the, look, can I just address this point? He said, no, no, no. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? What do you think? He's done nothing wrong, the guy. Alright, so, so he said, Muhammad is like closer to Jesus. No, 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 I, I didn't hear him. Okay, but he, 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 he made the claim that Islam, okay. Islam, <laughs> is Islam, is okay. <laughs> Islam is closer to Next! He said Islam is closer to Absolutely. Muhammad is closer to what Absolutely. Jesus He said Islam is closer to Muhammad. He said Islam. I said, well, no, let me be very precise what I'm saying. Okay. According to the earliest Gospels, as understood okay. by historians, okay. it's important you know what I'm saying here. Okay. I'm over here, by the way. Hi. So you're looking at um, that what Jesus taught about sin, salvation, forgiveness, the whole shebang is very, very similar to what uh, Islam teaches about precisely the same subjects and very different from what Christians today believe about sin, salvation, forgiveness, etc. Okay. That's my argument. And I, my claim, my first claim is this. If we go to Mark 8, 34, when Jesus was calling his disciples, he, it says, then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, 
Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and the gospel will save it. In Luke 14, 33, he says, in the same way, those of you who do not give up everything, you cannot be my disciple. Now let's see what, I have to go to a hadith here. We say amen uh, to this. Wait, wait, wait. In, in, we say amen yeah, to this. We say amen to this. We agree with that. We agree as Muslims. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let me finish. Yeah, yeah, brother. The Jews should follow Jesus above in, in, all else. In, in, in Bukhari, uh, in, in, in Bukhari book 52, uh, hadith 46, Muhammad, this is what it says, narrated on the authority of Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira Yahya related to me from Malik, from Abu Zinad, from Al uh, Araj, from Abu Huraira. You don't need to go through the Zinad, you can just quote So he, he said, oh, that is the member of the uh, Bukhari, uh, book 52, hadith 46. Book 52? Hadith 46. So Muhammad said, when he was calling the people, he said, Allah guarantees either the garden or a safe return home. So he said, Allah guarantees either the garden or a safe return to his home with whatever he's obtained of the reward of booty. So now what this means is Muhammad is saying to the people to follow him, if you come with me and you die, you go to heaven or you'll get booty the spoils of Book war. Yeah. Jesus is telling people, Sorry, give up everything Sorry. to follow me. Yeah. Sorry, Muhammad is teaching them, either you go, I'll give it to you in a minute. I'm over here, by the way. Yeah, sorry. Uh, 52 and then? 46. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Book 52 had a 46. Now, do you, do you, do you, sorry, sorry, sorry. Remember me? So, so, Jesus, so he's saying, Muhammad, preach almost yeah, what Jesus so how is Jesus saying if you you have to deny everything on earth to follow me but Muhammad is given is like a salesman you either come with me and if you die you go to the heaven but if you live you get the reward of booty it's like a win-win situation that is not the sign of righteousness Jesus came to preach righteousness he said when when the rich man Paul when Paul when the rich man came and he said how when the rich man came can I respond to well, let me just finish when the rich man came and said I don't need your interest this can I just say about this bad 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 rich man came to Jesus and said I followed all the laws and everything what must I do to be your disciple ask him don't ask me that's 52 46 yeah an example of a mujahid in the cause of Allah and Allah knows better no, can we find it please deception I Go, go, go on to um, sunnah.com. Uh, I'll find it. Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, 52, Hadith 46. Uh, well, that, that's the link. No, no, read there, but no, go to it. I'll show you on a different site. So go to sunnah.com. Because that's, that's the reference I've got. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it's so different. Yeah, this, right? I, know, I, I don't know. But right. that's what I'm saying. I'm, Why you don't know? Can we, that's a I'll Christian show you how to find made up. It. They made up things, they brought it together. We, 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 we need to verify what you're saying. It's no, no, surprising. It's not the same one, but he's giving me a different thing. No, I'm saying it's different. We yeah. know. Yeah. So who, yeah. Yes, remember, I'm going to... Remember now you have been caught up now. Yeah, but you are, go to, admit that you're... Yeah, but it's I'm totally coming. different. Totally different. I'm saying... Concept. We need to verify what you're claiming. He's talking about jihad in the cause of Allah. Read it for you, so you can understand it. This is Bukhari 5246. That's the one you read to you, yeah? Ah, no, 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 no. Abu Huraira. Are you saying this is the hadith that you're claiming for your... Because you've got to cite it from a reliable source. Yes, it's from Bukhari. That's what yes, it is. Is this the hadith? Look, just... Go to, yeah, but here yeah, uh, uh, here, is this that, the that hadith? No, no, but is, is this, this wrong? the hadith? Uh, let me find it for you. Can I find it for you? Look, I know, if I if we're going to debate, I yeah, say no, I can no. find it for you. But I either find it no, or I don't. totally yeah. different than that. Can I find it for you? No, you gave us a reference number. You, 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 you can. Is it in a reliable let, source? Let, let That's me, all I care let about. You want me to get the reference for you? I just need to know it's a reliable source. Not just a Christian website that says... What about if I get into the book? We're not accepting that it's a reliable source. 